What are different types of surgeries that remove the lymph nodes? So um, there's the most common ones are sentinel lymph node biopsy, and the other one is axillary lymph node dissection. So sentinel lymph node biopsy, we do in people who we call are clinically node negative, meaning on imaging, so on ultrasound and on MRI, there's no evidence of enlarged or abnormal lymph nodes. And when I examine, I don't feel any enlarged or abnormal lymph nodes. So that would mean clinically node negative. Those patients are a candidate for a sentinel lymph node biopsy. And the purpose of that or the rationale is to biopsy the lymph nodes that are the gatekeeper of that breast. So typically it's on the same side, so same axilla. So if you're having a right breast surgery, it's the right axilla or armpit region. And we inject dye into that breast and the dye then travels to those lymph nodes so that when we open the axilla, we can see which lymph node picked up the dye from that breast so that you know that those lymph nodes are the gatekeeper or policemen of that breast and that you know they're the first in the chain to pick up any abnormal cells from that breast. So the purpose of that biopsy is to see whether there's microscopic cancer cells in those lymph nodes that were so early um, in its spread phase, if you will, that it did not manifest any abnormalities on imaging. And the purpose of that is for staging purposes. So to determine, you know, if you ask me, are you stage one, stage two, stage three, it depends on the status of the lymph nodes that we find at the time of surgery. The status of the lymph nodes would also help determine what other treatments are needed after surgery. So sometimes it's the one of the decision factors as to whether chemotherapy is needed, yes or no. Or if radiation is needed, how much radiation? Are we rating the whole breast plus lymph nodes if there's disease in the lymph nodes, if there's microscopic disease? Or are we rating whole breast only if the lymph nodes are clear of any metastatic cancer cells? So that's the purpose um, and technique for sentinel lymph node biopsy. The other most common type of axillary surgery for the lymph nodes is axillary lymph node dissection. That's when we remove all the lymph nodes. We don't need to inject dye because we're gonna go and remove the whole group of lymph nodes in that, in that axillary or armpit region. And that's in instances where it's locally advanced, meaning we know the disease has spread to the lymph nodes. Okay. And that's when patients already have, before surgery, they've had a, they have biopsy proven cancer cells in the lymph nodes. And that biopsy is typically done by radiologists at the time of their, you know, mammogram or ultrasound guided biopsy. Now there's a caveat to that in that if they're found to have disease in the lymph nodes and then go on to have chemotherapy first, meaning neoadjuvant chemotherapy, sometimes the disease in the lymph nodes that was there before chemotherapy can go away. So sometimes they can have a really good response to chemotherapy and then they've converted to being clinically node negative. So in those instances, Sometimes we may try for a lymph node biopsy, but those are the two most common types of axillary surgery is the biopsy of the lymph nodes, so sentinel lymph node biopsy or total axillary dissection. Wow.